Welcome back, gentlemen. Today, I have a very interesting story that was very recent. I'm going to record this now. I've just seen some screenshots of this, and I'm going to put this out straight away. So you're going to see me in the next video with a beard. I know I've just shaved. Why is it after you shave, you instantly regret it? <laughs> anyway, um, so there's this breaking story that, uh, breaking story, so like every other news uh, reporter there, where Jonas Hill's uh, ex-girlfriend is, is essentially is essentially complaining about the uh, about men having standards. That's the that's the easiest and the most poetic and 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 uh, purest way to explain what is happening here. So we've got this video uh, where Pearl shares a little bit regarding the history of how this happens. But it's essentially what what's critical to understand in this video, which uh, I've devised from a screenshot, is it is more than okay as a man, and I think it's actually an expectation of you to have healthy boundaries in a relationship. The point is the exclusivity of it. So I'm just going to play um, this video here, which goes a little bit through. Uh, you can see this is her uh, Instagram, I believe. So, th so this is what her Instagram looks like. And you can see there's quite a lot of continuity here with her uh, surfing, which is, you know, fine. Um, I just want to pause actually very quickly here. And I wonder, it's going to come up in just a moment, if you can immediately, as a man, see any red flags at all in her bio. Just let that permeate there for a couple of moments before we press on here. So she's she's going through her, you know, breakup and she's posting a lot of these cries for help in terms of how she feels victimized and, you know, victim mentality and she's been abused, things like that for, you know, other people to come to her DMs and give her some kind of pity. So this is a conversation between her and Jonah in her Instagram DMs of him uh, sending love heart emojis to her on the beach, her saying, how are you doing? And him saying he wants to see you. And she, her commenting in hindsight uh, would then be upset I didn't read his mind and take down the pics once I was in a relationship with him. Holy hell, this is kind of hypocritical. He is batshit. Uh, he is batshit dude. Uh, that doesn't even make sense, but whatever. So we're going to learn about in a minute that Jonah is setting what I believe to be fairly realistic expectations of a exclusive relationship. So hopefully we're going to get to this text in just a moment here. And uh, she's publicly outing him. And I love the rationalization here. Sharing this publicly now because keeping it to myself was causing more damage to my mental health than sharing it could ever do. Translation, I'm trying to gaslight him for having standards in his relationship. So this is the key screenshot that I wanted to get to here, gentlemen. I'm just going to try and enlarge this so it's a little bit bigger on my screen here. So this is a conversation between uh, him and her in terms of his expectations of relationship between uh, both parties. So plain and simple, if you need to be surfing with men, having boundaryless inappropriate relationships with men, to model, to post pictures of yourself in bathing suits, to post sexual pictures, to have friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch or coffee or something respectful. So I think he's mentioning there in relation to women who are constantly going out and getting drunk and you know maybe getting with other men. I am not the right partner for you. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it and there will be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for a romantic partnership. My boundaries with you are based on the ways these actions have hurt our trust. And she's saying, fuck it. These are misuse of the term boundaries. There is absolutely nothing unreasonable about him setting these kinds of expectations in a relationship. And I like the way this is framed. It is not dogmatic. It's not controlling. It's not ideologically possessed. He's saying that at the end, look, these are the terms of our relationship together. If you do not agree with these, I am not the right partner for you. If these things that I mentioned above are conducive to your quality of life and happiness and well-being, Fair enough, I support your decisions, but this is not gonna be mutually agreeable for our relationship here. That is as plain, as simple as you can make it. And this makes him look much better than her, in this case is here. I think going through these, these are fairly reasonable. Surfing with men and having boundaryless, inappropriate relationships with men. Maybe some people might disagree, but I believe 
generally you should be limiting your exposure to the opposite sex, especially when you're in, let's say, scantily clad garments. I don't think that's an unreasonable request. And a good way to look at this is flip around, flip it around to the opposite side. If it was him and he was going surfing with a lot of women who again are in bikinis or in bathing suits, how would she feel? You know, it's very easy to frame it in this light, but when you put the shoe on the other foot, it becomes very, very simple. To post pictures of yourself in bathing suits, to post sexual pictures, friendships with women who are unstable. This is one that a lot of men maybe mistake and I would implore you to think about maybe considering this in a potential relationship with your future partner is your friends will have a psychological influence on you, right? Put it this way, if you are a married man and your wife has a group of five friends and four out of five of those friends are divorced, would you be comfortable with her hanging out with those kinds of friends? I personally would not be, right? Because they're gonna have an influence on her psychology. Eventually the conversation is going to come around to what their interests are in or what groups they belong in, right? Four out of five of them belong in the divorcee group. And they'll be talking about how great it is to be divorced now and how they can sleep around and how, you know, they don't have a commitment to a man. But if she's in a group with other married women, they're going to be celebrating the fact that they're in this marriage group and the benefits of that group. This is basic, this is psychology 101. The ideological persuasions of the groups are gonna have an influence on the individual. If four out of five of your friends are going drinking out every Friday night, of course you're gonna be influenced to do to be the fifth person doing that. So Jonah, and, and, and by the way, I would imagine a lot of these are from prior relationships where he had poor experience. And he says here at the bottom, my boundaries with you are based on the ways that these actions have hurt our trust. So these he, concedes to be a, a, you know, a challenge or not quite being congruent with trust in the relationship. And I respect that. You're allowed to have your own standards and you're allowed to have other people say that your standards are not, are consistent with our relationship. But he says here, right here, if you feel like these things are unreasonable, I'm not the right person for you. By the way, I should mention at this point, if you have to get to a point, this is a, I suppose a little sidebar, if you have to get to a point where you are saying these things, then the relationship is wrong from the start. If I'm gonna give her any kind of credit, again, because I don't believe one party is completely right and one party is completely wrong, is, you know, if, if that's what her Instagram looks like at the start, you know, she's probably gonna continue doing that kind of behavior. If you want a conservative woman who's gonna be a little bit more reserved in terms of not putting these kind of pictures online, then you should find those kinds of women first and foremost. It's very difficult to convince somebody of a behavior that they've been doing for a long period of time, which is again why men don't generally go for promiscuous uh, women in relationships, why they don't work, why they don't date sex workers, why they don't work, date, pardon me, only fans uh, workers as well. If you want to predict future behavior, look at historical behavior. So if you want a woman that's going to be very, very conservative, very, very feminine, look for those kinds of behaviors in the past. And then there won't be need for this difficult conversation. There's some more bits and pieces that she's saying here that come under the guise of misogyny. Let's see if she's correct or not. You're right. We can't do surf social things or develop trust until you consider me and make decisions that give regard to our relationship. Okay. I have been vulnerable as uh, possible and I am telling you that I am needing you to step up to the plate, which you can. I am sure of it. But these losers don't get your time if you want me straight up. It's consideration, right? I respect your love of surfing, but I respect myself as well. And your love of surfing and being in those situations and lack of awareness are not mutually exclusive. This isn't me, I have my own uh, I have my own issues that I own. If you want marriage and a family, you can't use the 25 card step up and cut the shit. These people don't get your time or your kindness, the sacrifice at the sacrifice of mine. And she's saying by these people, he means any friend of mine that he hasn't personally approved of. I'm gonna give a wild guess here that he means other men as he previously disclosed in the last message. So the premise of this message is really centered around consideration and respect for the relationship, which again, I don't have any fault with. I think it's more than reasonable to have these expectations that you respect the relationship or you don't give any respect to the relationship when you prioritize other male friendship than our relationship, I should say. 
I'm really interested to hear what you guys think on here. Do you believe or would you, let, or maybe let me phrase this a different way. Would you be comfortable with your partner having male friendships in these kind of environments? Because uh, maybe I'm out of pocket here, but I don't believe I am. So guys, I'm not going to go through the whole video because there's just a, a load of backlog of virtue signaling, victim mentality, bits and pieces like this. Um, go and watch the video for yourselves. That's from uh, Pearly Things on Twitter. But that that generally is the sentiment from the whole argument here. Um, what do you think, guys? Are men allowed to have standard set boundaries in the relationships or are we completely out of pocket? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Speak soon.